There's my cute little kitten. In this case, when we first boot up, um, here's our desktop background and Windows Arrow shell. Here's the toolbar with some of the gadgets, and that's kind of a, a new feature in Windows Vista. Some really fun and, and useful gadgets. Um, this is Microsoft's uh, Vista's Arrow shell and their menu, so it's a different menu configuration. Um, I kind of like this menu, and I kind of like the old menu, so we'll take a look at both. Um, by default, personalized menus are turned on, and so any programs that I have would be available here. And then I could select, if I want to go here to accessories, I could select items there. So that's kind of a neat way they do the menu system. Um, I could search, but I can also launch commands just like from the run section of XP. So if I want to open a command prompt, I could just type it there, and Vista would know what to do based on what I typed there. So it kind of centralizes both finding and executing system commands. Notice that, you know, in this case my log off or shutdown options are here if I click here. Um, I think by default I'm set to go into suspend right now. Yeah, in this case I would just go into suspend mode. But you can change that. Um, a couple of the things that I do just to tweak the performance a little bit. Uh, I mean, I like to play with the gadgets and toys and I, I like the look and feel and all, but um, well, let's go ahead and at least look at the gadgets for a little bit. We'll show some details, but if I were to look at gadgets, I can select different gadgets and I can get sort of a summary of what they are, what they do, and you can download all sorts of different gadgets. You know, you may search for them and install them. Um, it's kind of a neat little, you know, neat, neat, neat little addition to the Windows operating system. Um, you know, usually I prefer you know, I would rather have the performance. So in this case, I'm going to go over here and there's a little hover button. I want to click on that. And, you know, I can, if I want to detach or remove my gadgets, I can. I'll just close my gadgets here. And close and close. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my sidebar. And then I'm going to uncheck this, start sidebar when it starts, exit sidebar, so that way, you know, I won't, it'll give me a, a little bit, you know, a little bit more resources in terms of CPU cycles and memory when I'm booting up, so it'll make my booting a little bit faster. And if I want, I can always go back and turn those gadgets on through control panel. And so that's sort of our next stop. Let's go to control panel. And like XP, Microsoft has changed the look from 2000 Pro. So usually what I do is, I mean, we can access uh, different items here, but I'll go over here to Classic View. And in Classic View, um, sort of my favorite there, I, I usually like to do a few things. I'll go to Taskbar and Start Menu. And I'm going to load the Classic Start Menu. And a couple of things I like, display the log off, and I don't like personalized menus. kind of like to see all the programs I have. I don't like things to be hidden from me. Of course, that's just an opinion or a preference. That's one of the nice things about uh, XP Professional and, and, and Vista. Um, you know, you can customize it to the way you like it. It's not a, you know, you don't, you don't really have a one-size-fits-all uh, environment. I'm going to go to User Accounts, and one of the things that's, well, it's a useful security feature, but it can also be kind of annoying, um, is User Account Control. And I want to turn User Account Control off in this case. So I'm going to go here, and I mean here I could modify password, uh, you know, password settings or the way users log on or log off. Um, user account control does this, basically. It just anytime you do something that is important or a potentially dangerous operation, um, it acts as a middleman. So you get this prompt, and it says, "Are you sure you want to do this? Do you want to continue?" Um, now, if I were a malicious script or a trojan trying to infect a system and do really bad things this could stop me from doing what I want to do, from damaging the file system, or you know, if I were a spyware, from, from, you know, from doing something horrible to the operating system. It requires the user's interaction. So I can't, you know, it, it limits the power of an automated script to affect the system. 
Um, now I usually end up turning this off <laughs> just because you know it becomes an annoyance sometimes when you do repetitive tasks or you want to do things quickly in Vista. But if you do turn it off, just remember um, to be careful about where you surf, you know, what you download. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck user account control and then I'll click on OK and then it'll ask me if I want to restart. So I'm going to go ahead and restart now.